The Bundoran Weekly is brought to you by AIB, supporting local businesses in Bundoran. For more, see AIB.ie. Hi everyone, it's Shane Smith, Bundoran Tourism Officer. It is Friday the 24th of June 2022 and I'm here with you for the Bundoran Weekly Podcast, episode 191. It is the podcast that talks about everything Bundoran. We had a big weekend last weekend in Bundoran with sea sessions Well done to everybody involved in that. What a weekend it was. It was great to see the town so busy and such a great event happening down by the main beach. Uh, well done to Daniel and to Ray and to Pete and all of the team that put sea sessions together and we are certainly looking forward to 2023. Uh, This weekend also a big weekend in Bundoran as Waterworld reopens today the 24th of June uh, after a little bit of a delay uh, from the original opening date and of course it hasn't been open since 2019. Today is the big day. It is now open every day throughout the summer months so um waterworldbundoran.com is the website and waterworldbundoran.com forward slash booking is where you can book now to get your slot and to secure your spot in whatever day and whatever date that you wish across the summer so do get on and book it there now we'll be talking more about that uh, probably in the next couple of weeks also launching this weekend is the brand new director's lounge at the Eclipse Cinemas here in Bundoran and Colin McFadgeen from Eclipse Cinemas will be talking to me about that and about some of the big movies that are coming up this summer and indeed this weekend the big movie is Elvis so we're looking forward to that uh, so uh, we'll be talking to him also Teresa O'Neill will be in our community corner at Bundoran Community Centre a little bit later on let us start as ever with our entertainment guide the Allingham it is music with a contractor tonight tomorrow night it is Elaine Boyle and then Michael English in the ballroom Neo Cannon at Key West from 5 until 7 o'clock on Sunday evening. Kieran Mackery on Sunday evening also in the Coolmore Bar. And Philomena Begley, the queen of country music herself, that is in the ballroom this Sunday night. And uh, you can enjoy that at the Allingham. Kieran Mackery then back on Monday evening at the Allingham. Moving on to the Bird's Nest, White Lightning there tomorrow night. Sunday it is music with Ger Long. Fabulous Franks at the Chase and Bull on tomorrow night. And then Sunday night it is music with True Tone. Don't forget the Thirsty Thursdays continue each and every Thursday night. Right, like it says on the tin, every night, every Thursday night at the Bank Bar and the Trad Session Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. at George's Bar on the Main Street. Uh, Kenny Crawford at the Railway Bar tomorrow night and uh, lots of live music elsewhere throughout the town. Don't forget you can check it all out at our website, discoverbundoran.com forward slash events is where all of the information is and you can log on there and we'll be updating that as we get more information from our various trade partners across town. Uh, we'll be putting that up on our website. Uh, also in the Kicking Donkey this weekend, tomorrow and Sunday from 11am till 3pm daily, it's the Craft Market. It's the monthly one and that is happening there at the Kicking Donkey, as I say, on Main Street tomorrow afternoon and Sunday afternoon from 11am until 3pm. Our historic walking tour is also back. It's happening Thursdays at 11am and that is from Bondoran Tourist Office. Uh, it's free of charge and uh, no booking is necessary. You can just show up on the day. So it's the Bondoran Historical Walking Tour, as I say, free of charge every Thursday morning at 11 o'clock for the summer season. Cinema, we'll be talking to Collie in a few minutes' time, but new out this week is Elvis and good luck to you, Leo Grande. And uh, they are the two big new movies that are out this weekend. Uh, Colin Q Ewan is also the Missed It Monday. So if you didn't see that, a great Irish movie. And if you didn't see that uh, when it was in the cinema there a couple of weeks ago, then it is your final chance to see it uh, for a couple of quid cheaper as well. This Missed It Monday uh, at Eclipse Cinemas. You can check out EclipseCinemas.com or indeed our own website, DiscoverBundoran.com for all of the information on the schedule. And of course, they have their new director's lounge open as well. We'll be talking to Collie in a few minutes time. Now, also got an email from from uh, all the way from New Zealand. Uh, It says, I'm a New Zealand school teacher that will be listening to your podcast uh, in the morning in my classroom and they're looking to get a mention for their school in New Zealand and uh, they're in, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, Opunake. That's O-P-U-N-A-K-E a.k.e. Opunake. Uh, they have a small class radio and uh, they want to, they're want they going to mention us. So here we are mentioning you and uh, thank you for listening to the Bundoran Weekly Podcast. Uh, they have Matariki, Matariki uh, there this week and it's also New Year's as well. So um, 
they want to remember. All of those who have passed celebrating the now and looking forward to the future. And that comes from Daniel at SH1 in New Zealand, who sent us an email uh, to uh, a podcast at bundoranweekly.com. And lovely to hear from you and hope that you enjoy the podcast and all of the information about Bundoran. It is the Bundoran Weekly with thanks to AIB.ie, supporting local businesses in Bundoran and Bally Shannon. Still to come, we'll be in our community corner with Teresa O'Neill from Bundoran Community Centre. And very shortly, we'll talk to Colin McFodgian from Eclipse Cinemas. The Bundoran Weekly. I'm Shane Smith, Bundoran Tourism Officer, with you on the Bundoran Weekly Podcast. It has been 21 years since Eclipse Cinemas opened in Bundoran. They decided to treat themselves for their birthday with a brand new director's lounge in the cinema complex here in Bundoran. I sat down in it very comfortably with Colleen McFodging during the week. We're we're here in our new VIP screen, which is the director's lounge. Some people would would have known as screen three, but they will not recognise it at all because, you know, we decided Bundoran, you know, people like a bit of luxury in Bundoran as well. And we wanted to do something special. And as you know, we had big plans for our our anniversary uh, here of an Eclipse Cinema at Bundoran. Uh, We were 20 years and I don't know if you know, there was a little kind of thing, a a thing, a pandemic or something. Mm -hmm. So we didn't quite get to do it. So we're 21 this year and we said, let's give ourselves a big birthday present. So one of the two big presents, well, I suppose there was three because they employed me. (laughs) But uh, one of the one of the big presents, I, I imagine we'll have to cut that bit. Uh, one of the big presents they gave they, they gave was to keep, do up the screen to change it from, it used to hold about 106 people, now it's 51 with luxury seats all up on, on big steps, mm-hmm. new whole design for the screen, uh, new lighting new sound, everything uh, different about it that they're electric recliners they as are. we were trying out before we were, them, and we just realised recording horizontally was probably not <laughs> no. what, what this podcast sure was designed done, though, for no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> this, this is a family podcast yes. probably not this one but um, it's something really special because look we all love going to cinema and maybe the pandemic showed us the gap you know at first when we opened last summer you and I had a chat and we were looking forward to we weren't quite sure what was going to happen and people were a little apprehensive at mm-hmm. first and we we you know we'd a, a cap on numbers and, and people had to show their ID and so on mm. but it really feels that everything's come back especially as and I know you were a big fan to Top Gun yes. Top Gun really felt normal again it was it was the first kind of really big movie that you said no we have to go and see this yep. in the cinema you know and so many people who you know Spider-Man did it a lot for, for teens and big Marvel fans and so on even Bond to an extent, but it was Top Gun that people really felt they were back in the cinema because it's a film that just cannot be seen anywhere else and enjoyed in the same way. And amazingly, that you know, people of uh, our vintage, you know, uh, very late twenties, that's right, <clears throat> remembered the first one. But we've had people who didn't even really know who Tom Cruise are; they were that young mm-hmm. and absolutely adored it. So it really felt cinematic, I suppose. That that's the thing. So to have something like this, because let's face it. We know that there's many choices for people's entertainment, especially on on a screen. So it has the cinema is all about the experience. It's not just about the film. It helps if it's a really good film, mm-hmm. but it is about watching a movie with somebody else. Um, Roger Ebert, the critic, said um, cinema is a machine for creating empathy, and that's why a movie is that bit funnier when you're in an audience and everyone laughs. It's a bit sadder. <coughs> excuse me. Um, Stuff like the on Colleen Kuhn, people have been coming out all red out, but there's something emotional about watching it together. Mm-hmm. And I think Top Gun, and I know you were a big fan, that brought that back in it. The, the adrenaline rush of watching it on the big screen, but watching with a with an audience, yeah, yeah. and it, hearing people go, <gasps> mm-hmm. you know, it's it's something special. And this new screen is is part of that, you know. To it's a night out. Look, there's so many of us. We look. We had a lot of nights in for the yeah, last two years, sure. and really to have a big thrill on your night out, come out and really enjoy yourself. And it doesn't mean there aren't the other screens, and we still have our crazy Tuesdays and so on. But for people who just want, you know, they've got the babysitter in, and they're going, you know, I want to watch the movie, but I really want to have a, a night out, a date night. Yeah. It's just perfect. For but part of the experience now here is the food experience. Yes. 
um, which is terrible for me because I've just started a new diet and we've got all this tasty new food. (laughs) But again, you know, cinemas have evolved and and changed and people are expecting more. Even when I first moved to Bundoran, I was saying, you know, it was hard to get a milky coffee. Now it's hard to get something that's not an oat milk latte. You know, so (laughs) things change and people's expectations change. So we're delighted that we now have a hot food menu. So we've pizzas and hot dogs and being Bundoran, we've we've veggie options and uh, vegan uh, tenders and so on. And one of the things that we're really going to enjoy doing, it's starting only with the director's lounge where there will be menus where we're sitting right now. There's Mm -hmm. a little table in front of us and there will be a menu on every table and you will be able to order food and we will bring the food uh, to your seat. Your nice hot food when you're ready to watch the movie just before the movie starts Mm -hmm. as well because we don't want to uh, interrupt anyone. And now I know we're, we're both very sober individuals, but, you know, we're delighted as well. We have a wine license as okay. well. So we can have a, f- a few glasses of wine. Apparently in the UK f- and in Ireland, in recent times in cinemas, there's been a drought on wine. This was said on uh, in the Kermode Mayo podcast where they said they couldn't figure out why. And one of the cinema owners leaned over and said, Downton. Downton is the reason. Mm. And uh, we've a couple of movies, including uh, Good Luck to You, Leo Grande, that I think might... Might, might help there so it's going to be a, a different experience have a glass of wine and a lovely uh, slice of pizza or hot dog or vegan tenders and of course we still have the cinema treats you know you still have popcorn and, and all all of that but it, it's an added extra it, pun not intended but our, <laughs> our little cafe area is actually called extras and uh, so you can sit in in the area beforehand and have your food or you can have it in the screen so initially it will be just in the director's lounge but hopefully in a couple of weeks we're going to roll it out. So no matter what screen you're in, including like Crazy Tuesdays or Mr. Mondays, all the all the things that the more frugal people like to go to, because we want to be include everyone and all budgets, can um, get the food delivered and you just order the pizza at the counter as you're buying your tickets and we will bring it to your seat. Brilliant. That sounds like a, a really nice and classy service. And, and just looking around, like it, it is, it is nice. It's a bit more, uh, it's a bit more compact, I suppose. It's yep. a bit more cozy, and that's that. That's grand. But you have the space. You have the nice chairs here, well, and uh, well done. Well, even even you know, neither of us are massively tall people. But uh, just I realise there's no good in the podcast. I was about to say, look at the leg room. But there's <laughs> a massive amount of leg room. And I feel... There's more than a Ryan <clears> airplane. <throat> yes, yes. And I mean, for everyone yes. on a Ryan <laughs> airplane. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're not yet doing standing seats either no, no, here no. At, at, at the <laughs> cinema. But, there, you know, a lot of uh, my friends, you know, even in our uh, our chairs in our previous theatres, we're... We're glad to say we've always got good response that they're they're very comfortable chairs, but this is just a new level. And I think if you're sort of six foot plus, you are going to absolutely love this because there's loads of room to stretch out. Fantastic. That is uh, the Director's Lounge here at Eclipse Cinemas in Bundoran. It is opening this weekend. We're opening on Friday. Us and Waterworld. What a weekend for families all over oh, over Ireland. Let's, why limited to Ireland? <laughs> Everywhere. The come globe. To, come to Bundoran. The globe, the We're globe. brilliant. Um, we mentioned Top Gun. Obviously, it has been one of the, the big movies over the past, well, over the past year, I guess, yep. really. And I don't think I've ever seen a movie that has been promoted, even though it really didn't need to be promoted but it was really well promoted but there's some other big movies and including this weekend is one that I'm looking forward to seeing is Elvis yeah it's Baz Luhrmann's Elvis so it's going to be really different and look which means it's going to be super long yeah it is super long <laughs> <clears throat> but all you gotta say is Tom Hanks is in it you know talk about it. Uh, a seal of approval yeah. uh, Tom Hanks in, and actually it's as much the story of Colonel Tom Parker which hasn't really been approached in the proper way because he was a, quite a character to say the least straight from Carney to managing the biggest wow. star in, in the world. And I think for, at first people, when they watch it, they're going to go, Tom Hanks is doing a weird voice. And and then if you hear the real Colonel Tom Parker, you go, oh, wow, he actually did speak like that. Right. It's one of, one of those. Uh, we think that's going to be really popular. And also, look, Elvis has never gone away in pop- popularity here in our own Las Vegas of the North, you know? This is true. And that's going to be popular. And then next next Friday... Remind me to put in for next Friday off because Minions comes out and it's going to be <laughs> mental because we've been waiting ages for kids' movies uh, to come out. They were just uh, a victim of the pandemic. It takes a long time to do an animated movie yeah. and there was going to be a gap somewhere. We've just got Lightyear and Minions is going to be huge, huge. 
fantastic. And then some of the other big movies coming across yeah, the summer. Yeah, uh, Thor is going to be really big and a, and a very different angle as well. I think Where the Crawdads uh, is, is going to be a big hit. We've had so many people asking for it. The book was huge and I think that's going to be a big summer hit. And there's a few sleepers around that I, I think could be something but there's also a, uh, an action movie starring Brad Pitt called Bullet Train <gasps> that a lot it of looks pe- great yeah a lot yeah, of people really have been good. asking yeah, about yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think they're going to be really big uh, movies this summer but you know it's all Top Gun ain't going anywhere yet yeah. for, for a start I think Elvis uh, is going to be around for a while and um, we, we'll see what else approaches but also a quick mention for uh, Good Luck to You Lee or Grande which is an Irish actor called Daryl McCormack where um I don't know how much I can say about it on, on the podcast, but uh, Emma Thompson is a woman who's never quite enjoyed the conjugal side of life and she decides to hire a professional to help her. I think it looks really funny. It's got rave reviews everywhere and uh, I think that might do well. That might be our little sleeper hit, pun totally intended. Totally intended. <laughs> uh, on that note, that would be a very good place to end, I think. Uh, thank you. Good luck with the Director's Lounge. Uh, it's it's fab. I certainly would be coming here to, to watch Elvis, I think. And uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. You, I was just feeding you, waiting for you to feed that one into me. Uh, thank you, Colly, and uh, best of luck. We'll talk to you soon. Always a pleasure. Thanks so much for having us on. The Bondoran Weekly. Thanks, Colly, and best of luck to you and all at Eclipse Cinemas with your new venture. Let us now head to our community corner and to Bondoran Community Centre. And here's Teresa. Thanks, Shane. The Parent and Toddler Group is here in the Ruggie Suite on Friday from 2 to 3.30. This is a great opportunity for parents, carers, grandparents or guardians to join. Donations are €5 per family. Please contact Bundoran Community Centre at gmail.com. The Bundoran Bay Swim is on Saturday the 23rd of July at 2pm. This is a fundraiser in aid of the Bundoran Community Centre. If you would like to sign up, check out bundoranbayswim.com. Hot desks are available in our co-work from Monday to Friday, 9am to 5pm. We are booking up fast for the summer, so if you've had any inquiries or to book, please contact 07198 or email info at coworkprospendorn.ie. The Seafront Strollers is on every Tuesday at 12pm and Thursday at 7pm. If you would like to join, please email the Bundoran Community Centre at gmail.com. We offer printing, scanning and photocopying and even have one public computer. If you have any inquiries, please call 071-98-29675 or email bundorncommunitycentre at gmail.com. Thanks, Teresa. We will talk to you again next week. Uh, That is going to do it for our podcast number 191. And we are back again next weekend with the uh, 192nd episode of the podcast. We are nearly four years. Is it four years? Four years. Yeah, 2018 we started this podcast. So we're nearly hitting episode 200 and uh, we're certainly hitting our four year anniversary. So thanks to you all for listening and thanks for being with us each and every week. Don't forget you can follow us wherever you're listening now or indeed stream and download all episodes on demand at bundoranweekly.com. You can contact us as the guys in New Zealand did at podcast at bundoranweekly.com or indeed find us on Facebook and Twitter at bundoranweekly. Thanks to our sponsors AIB.ie and thanks to Mark Egan and the Songs of Earned team for the use of our signature tune which is running under me right now. It's the man from Bundoran. Have a great weekend and a great weekend Bundoran. Talk to you then. The Bundoran Weekly is a production of Discover Bundoran. The Bundoran Weekly is brought to you by AIB, supporting local businesses in Bundoran. For more, see AIB.ie.